Hi, my name is Dr. Dirk van der Spey and I'm an orthopedic hand surgeon practicing in the southern suburbs of Cape Town. Welcome to Cape Hand Surgery. Carpal tunnel syndrome is the most common compression neuropathy of nerves in the upper limb. That means the nerve gets compressed in the carpal tunnel as it runs into the hand. The nerve involved in carpal tunnel syndrome is the median nerve and it's the largest nerve in the upper limb because it's mainly sensory supplying mostly the thumb side of the hand up to the ring finger. The etiology or pathology for this condition is not completely understood but essentially it is thought that uh, the nine tendons that runs with a median nerve in the carpal tunnels membranes called the synovial membranes gets thickened and swollen and occupies more space in the tunnel and therefore compress the median nerve. The symptoms are typically sensory symptoms in the hand and people might experience pins and needles and might even experience numbness but there's also a pain component more than any other nerve there's pain that goes down in the arm and there's also pain going more proximal into the forearm the pain is typically worse at night and therefore patients typically wakes up at night with severe disabling pain or pins and needles and they have to get up and shake their hands to get it away the treatment for carpal tunnel syndrome is essentially pointed at relieving the mechanical pressure of the nerve and therefore uh, conservative treatments like cortisone injections might give it temporary relief. The surgical indications for carpal tunnel syndrome is essentially symptoms that go on for more than three months and especially people getting more progressive night symptoms. The uh, surgical intervention is aimed at relieving the mechanical pressure of the nerve and what we do is we open the transverse retinaculum which is the roof of the carpal tunnel. The procedure is aimed at then for, to do a neurolysis of the nerve and the median nerve is clearly seen here and we free it from all the adhesions. The second part of the operation, which is probably the more important, is to clear all these synovial membranes around the tendons. And once we create space, the nerve can glide nicely. This is a good example of a compressed median nerve and you can see clearly here that the nerve is very swollen. It's got an hourglass appearance showing that this compression has been there for a long time. Carpal tunnel surgery generally is a winner operation and patients benefit greatly from that. Although uh, the sensory symptoms or the deep pain um, can clear in the first few weeks, the improvement of the fine sensation can take up to 12 to 18 months to fully recover depending on how long the patient had carpal tunnel syndrome. If you maybe experience any of these symptoms, please feel free to come and see us and hopefully we can help you. Thanks for watching. And please feel free to visit the website at www.kpansurgery.co.za or follow us on Instagram or Facebook.